All right, everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your factory RV lock and upgrade it into one of these keyless entry systems. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures. We're out here camping this weekend and we figured what better time to do an RV upgrade than while you're out camping. We had a little bit of time so we're going to get into this and kind of the reasoning why you may want to do this and this actually just happened to us uh, especially with going trying to go into uh, this keyless system. Uh, one of the benefits is you don't have to have your keys on you. Just a couple hours ago I kid you not we were, I was getting ready to come out and film this video and the lock accidentally locked itself as I went to go close it to go get something out of my truck and we were locked out. All the keys for the truck, the trailer, everything was inside and we had to have our daughter come and bring us our keys, our second set of keys so at least she was close. But this is definitely one of the main reasons why you may want to upgrade into one of these. Uh, so we're going to take you across the process here. It doesn't take a lot. We're going to be showcasing this RV lock um, system. It's a key fob and a uh, digital keypad system. You can find these... Um, on Amazon. We will have a link below uh, for this. It will be an affiliate link so um, any little bit helps us. We're going to put it right back into the channel. But the best times to get deals on these systems is whenever Amazon is pushing a big holiday kind of splurge or a big shopping event. So we got this during the Amazon days here in October and you know Black Friday uh the july sales these things tend to go on sale right now um without the sale i think they're about 200 bucks um they even may have a coupon on right now they, it, the pricing is always changing but uh you can get the best deal during those super sales and the one thing you got to think about first before putting this lock system in is which lock do you need because not all locks are created equal um, for these guys, you want to go to their website and you can go through and um, tell them what kind of trailer you have, if you have a travel trailer, fifth wheel, and then it'll show you a picture of what uh, your, uh, your keys or your, your lock system looks like. And that's what you will use to gauge what system that is working for you. So we are on a right hand swing door. So we have got the right hand swing uh, compact system here and it's got the key fob it's got everything you need included but the the cool thing with this is it's it's toting as a very simple upgrade the only tool you will need wha bam is that phillips screwdriver that is it so let's go ahead and start tearing this thing apart Shouldn't take too long. Uh, we're going to show you guys the whole process. Let's get into it. So we got our door here. Uh, the only screws you got to take out are these four back here. And then eventually we're going to take the striker plate and that off there. So first thing we got to do, four screws, take them off. Okay, so now that we've got that off, the whole lock mechanism will just gently come out here. You can see there it is. There's the big gaping hole. And so now we've got our system prepped. So now we can open the box and take the contents out. All right, so we got everything ready to go there. We got our box, we're going to open it up, see what we got. Got a couple of pieces of paper here. Also have uh, the detailed directions. Makes everything pretty simple, but this is a pretty straightforward uh, installation here. So, um, but you know, it's good. It's got the programming. Um, stuff on there as well so definitely hang on to that then you're you're opening the box up here you got your lock system 
So you got your lock system there. We're gonna take it out. Also comes with one key fob. And uh, you will want to probably go online and purchase a second one. I'm not sure if some of these kits they sell with two or not. This one came with one. We'll probably go online and purchase another one. They're like 30, 40 bucks. Um, but you probably want more than just the one. So let's open this thing up. So as you can see in here, you've got that back plate and then you've got the front system. You've also got a manual set of keys for the lock itself. So that's good. Um, so in case the the programming's not working, the fob's not working, you always got that last line of defense. So we are going to uh, get this uh, ready. We got to take um, we got to take a little bit of this apart. We got to get the keys off, and then we'll be right back in a second. Okay, so we're gonna slide this guy uh, into place here. It's just gonna go in like so. Make sure that you keep um, the the wiring harness uh, tucked inside as you're doing this. Okay, and so now we've got everything in on the back side here. We're going to connect up that wiring harness, and when you do connect up the harness, you're going to hear the system make a beep, letting you know that it's active and ready to go. And there it goes. So our system is now live. So what we got to do now is just install these four screws and these two screws in the with the striker plate. We're going to do the striker plate ones first, and then we'll follow up with uh, with these uh, with these four. All right. So now we got to tuck this back in here. Get this all lined up. This is the tricky part. You got to get the lock, the lock squared up. All right, so you want to make sure that you get uh, this lock lined up and also making sure that your handle is latching before you get the rest of your screws in. I got the one started, made sure everything was working fine, and now we're going to tighten everything up. The rest of the way. Alright, so we've gotten uh, everything set up here. We've got our fob. Uh, we've already programmed everything uh, to work for the fob and you can turn the fob control on or off back here. So if I put this in the off position the fob doesn't work. All right, so we finished the install on the RV lock. Um, we actually finished that up yesterday. We were having some issues getting the key fob remote uh, program, but we did end up um, this morning uh, before we left camping, got that all squared away. Um, everything is working um, flawlessly. Uh, we were able to change our code and and do all the things in it right in it. Um, the directions go through that process, so I'm not gonna go through that, uh, but we definitely got that all done. The only thing I'm gonna keep an eye out is for um, the handle on the inside uh, where, you, where you pull to uh, close the door. It does seem a little bit loose. I've repositioned and tightened those screws just a little bit more. Uh, definitely during that install, you wanna make sure that you've got that seal completely covered here. We've had to adjust it a couple of times since installing it yesterday, just making sure that uh, it seals up good. But pretty much for us, this is gonna wrap up our camping season. Uh, we've got a lot more mods coming um, during the off season. But uh, so far, I think this is gonna be good. We're definitely working the kinks out of it. I think the fob might need a new battery, um, but uh, the little bit we got to use it yesterday, um, it was great. And uh, we hope not to um, lose our keys again and be locked out of our trailer. Uh, that was, uh, 
that was kind of a weird predicament yesterday, but we got through it and now we've got something that hopefully will allow us if we do mess up uh, to uh, be able to get into the trailer. So uh, hopefully you got something out of this. Make sure uh, you hit that like button, um, drop us a comment. Do you have one of these? Are you in the market? Um, let us know, um, definitely make sure you hit that um, affiliate link down there. Uh, it does help um, give a little bit back to our channel, so we always appreciate that. But uh, yeah, the end of our camping season this year, and uh, hopefully the lock will be good. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you are notified when we do RV uh, upgrades and uh, go to places we've been before. But until then, we'll see you guys in the next adventure.